So hi and welcome back. So today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be uh, doing something a bit longer than the last video because in the last video all we did was uh, allow users to close accounts and things. So in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting with photo albums and then um, we're going to probably allow people to report each other and um, well I don't know actually but at the minute that's what we're doing we'll be creating albums like photo albums and then letting people upload photos and things to them so uh, as you can see here I have header.inc.php view underscore albums dot php profile dot php uh, oh and profile dot php open and I just have the website here and our database so the first thing we're going to do to get started is we're going to add an option in um, actually let's go to the profile and um, if we scroll up um, so here's the profile image so it's below here um, somewhere here here so I'm just going to copy one of these uh, submit buttons and we're just going to uh, paste it in here. I don't know actually. We'll create a form the form action is going to be um, view underscore albums dot php the method is going to be post now we paste it in so the only thing we're going to change or the two things we're going to change is the name and we're going to change it to view albums uh, and obviously we'll change the value to uh, view yeah we'll just say view albums so now if we go back to the profile page, we have the new uh, view albums button. Okay, so I, I thought of a better way because if we use a form, it's going to push it on the line below. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, delete the form and refresh and now it's sort of on the same line. So... Um, Let me see the best place to put it. The best place to put it might be on the other side of the likes. Um, or just paste it into this form. Let's just have a look. Okay, so now that's there, and then the uh, unlike button bit is below. So we're going to cut that and then paste it in the form as well. So now if we refresh, uh, that's sort of pushing it out, but as you can see all, all this still works, and if we click view albums, oh yeah obviously it won't take us anywhere because we haven't told it to, so what we're going to do is, uh, okay so this looks a bit strange because of the like button there, so what I might do is go down here and then add a new um, one of sort of a new div and then just say like photos of the username so let's try that actually so if we scroll down uh, and down here and just paste it there it's gonna look a bit strange at first but if we go up here And we just cut this and then go down and paste it in here. I uh, will just say albums. And if we uh, scroll down and then refresh, 
uh, we have the new div. And the aim here is going to be probably to include divs for the albums. So uh, we might, if we'll either do that this video or next. But in the meantime, we'll just um, we'll just leave it like that for now, and then we'll work on the view albums page later or now. So um, I'm just gonna go actually to view underscore albums .php. We have a blank page, which is good, I suppose. So if we put our PHP tags in and we click, we type in include ink, oops, ink slash header dot ink dot PHP, and then we click refresh. Let's just put it like that. Uh, it's actually that was fine. It's the ink slash ink files folder it should be in. So let's try it now, and we get our header file. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we'll go down here and we'll create a header tag, and we'll type in um, usernames. Um, albums, and then put a H HR underneath, which is just a horizontal line. So obviously we're not going to get anything. We're just going to get undefined variable here, which is fine because to fix that, uh, what we're going to do is we'll go to the profile page, and we'll just cut this. And paste it in here. And then now, if we refresh, we'll still get the problem. But now, if we type in um, question mark u equals cinema, hmm. oh yeah, and uh, obviously we use we need to use the right variable. So now, if we type it in and we uh, refresh. We get cinema albums, so I think what I meant to do was append an S, an apostrophe S on the end of it. So now uh, we have an apostrophe S on the end of the person's username. So now we've done that, what we're going to do is, uh, oops, uh, actually we'll go create a new document and we will plan out the fields for our albums table. So obviously we need an ID. We need an album title, an album description. Uh, we need created by, uh, and the date it was created. So, um, uh, and a, U a UID for the album so that we can uh, associate photos with that album. So uh, that adds up to six fields. So I uh, should leave that open for now. So we'll go here and create a new table called albums, and it has six columns. So the first one is ID, the second one is going to be album title, the third one is going to be album description. Uh, the next one is created by. The next one is a uh, date created. And if we scroll down, the final one is UID. So the album title is going to be a voucher. Description is going to be text. Created by can be a voucher as well. Date created is going to be a date, and UID is going to be a varchar. Uh, UID is going to have a length of 32. Title can have 32 as well. Description, 300 characters is probably a good enough length for that. Uh, username could have 32 as well, and date obviously doesn't get one. So now we go over and up. 
and auto increment we click yes and index we set to primary so we click save and as you can see right at the top of our table it says albums so if we go to structure and we go to uh, insert uh, we'll insert some dummy data so the first one's just going to be this is a test album the description is going to be this is the description of my test album uh, created by it's going to be cinema date is going to be today and the UID of the album is going to be just a random string okay I'll actually I'll make the UID test for now so it's easy to um, remember and uh, use when we're testing it out so if we go to browse it says one row is inserted uh, click browse and here's our album but obviously if we refresh we're not going to get anything because we have told it to so now we can actually close that and in here we can create a new PHP block and what we can say is get albums equals mysql query select all from albums were uh, created by equals and uh, obviously want it to be username uh, num rows equals mysql num rows Get albums and finally uh, we create a while loop while ro row uh, equals mysql fetch associative um, num rows no yeah num rows probably wrong uh, I actually think it's get albums then we set ID equals row ID and um, we're gonna echo ID so we should get echoed one and that's what we get which shows the queries uh, been successful. So, paste this a few more times. Six in total, and change this to album name. No, it's title actually. Change it to description. Uh, created by. date and UID so now um, I'll just echo album title okay undefined index date okay so it's probably because it's probably date uh, created yep so here it is we this is a test album so what we'll do is we'll um, close that off and then open it again in a new PHP block and in here we'll put in h3 tags and then we'll just echo Uh, album title let's see h2 maybe uh, 
that's a bit big. So what we'll do is we'll just keep it, uh, we'll go back and just undo that. And we'll keep this the way it is, except we'll change it so it's bold. So now we have bold, uh, we should have bold text. Uh, it's probably something in the CSS overriding it, so um, uh, we'll fix that later. So now we have our uh, album name showing up. Uh, we want an image to show up underneath. So um, we're just going to create another echo. Image source equals. And for the minute, we'll just not let it equal anything. And we'll give it a height of 200 pixels and a width of uh, let's say 140 pixels so obviously there's no image so it's just gonna show up like this uh, but that's fine uh, because I'm actually this isn't very efficient just making loads of echoes but it doesn't matter so I'll surround it in a div and Close the div off. Put a break in here. Uh, we could even center this. Uh, and in this div, we're just going to say style equals. Um, Okay, so I changed my mind and as you can see in the site style that CSS, uh, I'm just going to copy these from the news feed and then paste them in here and then change it from news feed to albums. Uh, and the width, we're not going to set. And now if we uh, change it to div uh, class, and we just set it to albums. So now uh, if we go back and we refresh, um, we have a messed up looking div. So just put it back to 70% and then let's have a look. Did it work this time? So we're still having a problem. Okay, so uh, what the problem was is the CSS just didn't have time to update. So we'll delete, uh, we'll actually undo that and then delete the widths and then refresh again. So now our um, album fills up the full page, uh, which now I think about it might look good. So we will undo all this. And um, here we're just going to put in h2 and h2 again uh, and the value is going to be username um, no the value is going to be album title so obviously it's beneath it and that's not what we want so I'll change it so it's inside its own div And the div is just going to be set to style display inline, which should put it beside it. Nope. So let me see. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just cut this and then paste it inside uh, the div. And I'll say. Uh, We could just say V uh, align top. Um, let me see. Cut it again. And inside here, create another div and then change the V align to top on the new div. And then close the old one off. Or the new one off, even. So, hmm. Now our photos disappeared. Um, 
Okay, so it uh, looks like we're running over time, so I won't have, uh, actually have time to fix this in this video, but we will in the next. And just before we go, I'm going to cut this and then paste it and change this to view albums.php uh, slash albums slash um, view albums.php u equals one. Or whatever so what this should do is it should I mean if we go to refresh and we go to slash albums slash cinema okay let me see okay so what I'll do uh, actually I found the problem so we just paste that in there and then get the slash at the start so now if we type in slash album slash cinema yeah uh, we get our uh, page so what we'll do um, obviously is on the view albums.php page um, we'll in my case I have to include it the long way so it's slash localhost slash um, So it's a uh, local slash slash. So if I include the long way now it should work. Uh, as you can see, something went slightly wrong. So let's have a look. Um, let's see. So we fix this. Uh, let's go to this and just echo it or undo this line so fail to open uh, that so now that I think about it I'm actually an idiot because um, when you include files in PHP it doesn't matter whether they're in the same directory or not well it does to a certain extent it's kind of complicated but uh, as you can see, when I open this, it does actually show up. The problem was the CSS style sheet that wasn't showing up. So if we go back here, oh, and we uh, comment that line back in. Uh, what we do in the header.php file is we just type in slash localhost slash. So we just include the right CSS document. So yeah, the document's being included, but there's a few more documents to include. So let's just paste them all in. And let's try it now. And we also have to remember to remove the localhost at the beginning. And now if we uh, refresh, it works. So yeah, I'm sorry about the mistakes, uh, but they're all sorted now. And anything else will be fixed in the next video. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.